Are you sacrificing sleep to get some me time? Well, it turns out you're, you're not alone, and the phenomenon even has a name. The sleep doctor, Michael Bruce, is here to break down revenge, bedtime procrastination. <laughs> I guess that's sort of a <laughs> diagnosis. Dr. Bruce, always a pleasure to have you. Hey, Doc. Always good to be with you, gentlemen. Thank you so much for having me. And I, I've been doing your vitamin D uh, tip. Good. Sleeping better. It's amazing, isn't it? You know, vitamin D is a circadian pacemaker. It's a great thing mm. for people. And so many people are deficient in vitamin D. It's certainly something for people to talk about. All right, sure. but we got better, bigger and better things today. <laughs> We're know. talking procrastination. Mm -hmm. So why are people trying to get revenge while lying in bed at night going to sleep? Okay, so this is an interesting phenomenon. It is not a diagnosis by any stretch of the imagination. It's more like a trend. Um, but here's what is happening is people are thinking in their head, gosh, I didn't get to do the things that I wanted to do today. So I'm gonna take revenge on my day by sitting with my telephone and scrolling uh, while I'm trying to fall asleep. Uh, of course, this isn't the best idea at all for multiple reasons. Number one, you're getting a big dose of blue light um, and we know that blue light does not allow for the production of melatonin. And remember, melatonin is that key that starts the engine for sleep. So we know that that's not a good thing. And the other thing is the engagement, right? Like if you're scrolling or you're trying to get your high score on Candy Crush, I don't think you're trying to fall asleep. <laughs> so the good news is, is that this is a habit that can be broken. Here's a few things you can do if you just can't quite figure out what to do. Um, the very first one, blue light blocking glasses. So if you're going to do this, do us a favor and don't get that huge dose of blue light. I've got some blue light blocking glasses here. These are uh, interesting. I use readers um, in the evenings to read. And so these actually go over your readers. Ah, very Look smart. At that. So very it smart. actually works out quite well. For folks who don't need prescription glasses, there are regular blue light blocking glasses. Uh, the second thing, set an alarm. Okay. Like, if you want to do this, okay, that's fine. Give yourself 20 minutes. The problem is, is when you start scrolling or you start playing, you completely lose track of time. And when you lose track of time, those minutes start going by mm -hmm. and you're missing out on really good, important sleep. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a second way. Uh, the third, have an accountability partner. There might be somebody else in your home or somebody who could give you a call at a particular time and say, hey, cut it out. Like enough already. Like you had your little time for yourself and that's great but now you're eating into your sleep time, which is gonna have a massive effect uh, on you for sure. And then another big thing is if you're gonna do this, and this is a big thing for you, just do it at another time during the day, maybe right after dinner, uh, you know, section off 30 minutes for you to be able to do your procrastination. Um, just don't do it right before bed. And then the final thing is charge your phone in a different room than your bedroom, and then it won't Whoa. be so easy to grab it. That's Whoa. what I do. Sneaky. That's what I do. Smart. All right. As always, great tips. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, guys. All right, we'll see you soon. You can get more tips from Dr. Bruce and his new book, Energize.